ان المنافقین یخادعون اللہ وہ خادعہم دیز منافقین دیز ہپوکرائٹس دے آر ٹرائنگ ٹو ڈیسیو اللہ یخادعون اللہ والذین آمنوا وما یخدعون الا انفسهم ان دی ویری بگننگ ان دی سیکنڈ رکوع اف سورۃ البقرہ ان المنافقین یخادعون اللہ دے وانٹ ٹو ڈیسیو اللہ وہ خادعہم اینڈ اللہ سبحانہ و تعالی is letting them go in this in deception he is yamudduhum fi tughyanihim yamahun giving them the respite stretching the rope for them let them go to any extent let them go to any extent so that they can prove whatever evil was hidden in their minds and hearts in al munafiqin yukhadiun allah wa huwa khadiuhum wa idha qamu ila salat qamu kusala when they stand up for prayer they stand very lazily reluctantly they don't have the love for allah they don't go with hearty inclination but because they have to show off to the muslim that we are also muslims they have to prove because at that time nobody could be accepted as a muslim if he doesn't pray So the worst of the munafis also had to pray five times a day. But actually they were not praying from their own depths of their hearts. It was only to show off and that is the word coming next. وَإِذَا قَامُوا إِلَى الصَّلَاةِ قَامُوا كُسَالَا يُرَاوُونَ لِلنَّاسِ يُرَاوُونَ لِلنَّاسِ They are showing off for the, for the, Muslim, for the people to be counted as Muslims. وَلَا يَسْكُرُونَ اللَّهَ إِلَّا قَلِيلًا and they don't actually remember allah but very little except very little maybe some at some time when they are when they have stood behind muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam some flash of lightning comes to them maybe after all muhammad is leading the prayer maybe some you know ray of light it shines for them also illa qalila but actually they have joined the congregation only to show to the people so that they can be counted as muslims they can be accepted as muslims at least legally muzabzabina baina zalik now the word they have become double minded wavering muzabzabina baina zalik oscillating now oscillation towards this side and then to this side but actually neither to this side nor to this side if you are to this side then you don't go to the other side if you are sincere to the other side then you never come to this side when you are oscillating you are sincere to neither this side nor that side muzabzabina baina zalik la ilaha illa wa la ilaha illa actually they are neither with them nor with them they are neither with muslims nor with the jews or the kuffar they are sincere to none when they are not sincere to allah how can be sincere to anybody else had they been sincere to allah they would have been the true muslim moments what is not sincere to allah how can he be sincere to anybody else maybe they are muslim or they are kuffar they are none sincere to none مذبذبين بين ذلك لا اله الا الله ولا اله الا الله ومن يضل الله فلن تجد له سبيلا and whomsoever allah subhanahu wa ta'ala declared as gone astray allah doesn't lead anybody astray doesn't turn the direction of anybody towards wrong direction forcibly but whosoever chooses a wrong direction he allows him to go that way and when you know he has reached the point which we call point of no return then allah puts a seal okay go go to hell now and now after this point if you want to bring him back to the right path you can't do it allah has already put the seal muzabbabin bain zalik la ilaha illa wa la ilaha illa wa man yudillahu falan tajid lahu sabila يا ايها الذين امنوا لا تتخذوا الكافرين اولياء او يو بيليف دونت تيك ذا ان بيليفرز از فريند من دون المؤمنين انستيد اوف مومنتس 
اتریدون ان تجعلوا لله عليكم سلطانا مبينا do you want to give allah subhanahu wa taala a clear charge against you if you make friend with kuffar with unbelievers with the enemies of allah with the enemies of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who have rejected faith you are making friends with them you love them this will become the biggest charge against you on the day of judgment how come you profess to believe in me and believe in muhammad and you are behaving friendly towards the enemies of allah and enemies of muhammad this will be a clear charge against you aturidun an taj'alu lillah alaykum sultanan mubina innal munafiqina fi darki al asfal min al nar these hypocrites will be in the lowest part of hell allah subhanahu wa ta'ala dislikes nifaq more than kufr he hates nifaq more than kufr that is why he is hating the muslim ummah today and he has given authority power respect to kufar at least they don't profess to believe in me look to them they believe in me they pray to me and then they go out and do business on interest they say they believe in quran and then they are not accepting the commands of quran this is worse than kufr allah is not cruel wa ma ana bizallam lil abid i am not cruel to my creatures to my servants my bondsmen how come there is something in al munafiqina fi dark al asfal min al nar wa lan tajada lahum nasira this hypocrites will be in the lowest part of the fire of hell and you will not be able to find any helper for them illa allazina tabu but still there is time to mend because it is nearly the middle of the madani period fifth year or sixth year is the middle of the madani period when you know it was about ninth year after hijra nearly the end of the madani period and nearly the end of the this worldly life of muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam then the doors of tauba were closed for munafiqin but here still the doors have been kept open for them you can still mend your ways illa allazina tabu except those who turn to allah return to allah who repent waslahu they mend their ways wa tasamu billah and now they hold fast to allah cling to allah cling to his deen cling to his rope and that rope is quran wa khalasu deenahum and they have made their deen pure and sincerely for allah nothing else fa ulaika ma'al mu'minin such people will be included among the real believers the day the, the gate of tauba are still open the very beautiful couplet in persian dar hai firdaus wa bud imroz az be niyazi guftem farda today the gates of paradise were open i could go to paradise today but does it mean i could make tauba today dar hai firdaus wa bud imroz az be niyazi guftem farda we said no 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 i shall enter tomorrow and tomorrow never comes so make the best use of time the chance that you are getting you can't be sure you can have another life an year in life but you are planning and you are differing deen let me do this first and then you know i'll do all you know fully devote to religion and deen and the qamat ad deen and the ihya ad deen but presently i am engaged in this and this and this and this as if you are sure 
and who is sure that he will be able to see the sun tomorrow and if anybody is sure he is a fool so that is it takhir dar hai firdaus wa abud imroz today az beniyadi guftein farda illa alladhina tabu wa aslahu wa tasamu billahi wa akhlasu deenahum lillahi fa ulaika ma'al mu'minin wa sawfa yu'ti llahu al mu'minin ajran azima as soon as allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will give the believers a very great reward again you know a very appealing mode of expression very appealing ma yafalu llahu bi azabikum what will allah do to punish you why will he punish you is he a sadist will he take pleasure in punishing you no but it is your deeds it is what you want ma yafalu llahu bi azabikum in shakartum wa amantum wa qala llahu shakran alima if you are grateful to allah if you are thankful to allah and if you have faith in him if you believe him what will he do he doesn't like to put you in the fire of hell ma yafalu llahu bi azabikum in shakartum wa amantum wa kana llahu shakran alima allah is very much appreciative of any good that you do and he is all knowing 